Here's how you can create mind-blowing AI visual effects using just a single AI tool. Creating VFX like this used to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. But now with AI, you can make incredible effects like this yourself with just a creative idea and a prop. Whether you're a filmmaker, a content creator, or an artist, this tutorial has everything you need to know to start creating your own hyper-realistic AI visual effects. And honestly, I'm completely blown away by the quality of the visual effects I was able to create using this AI tool. Here's one I made where the woman slowly disintegrates into dust. If you remember seeing the Marvel movies where Thanos snaps his fingers and all the Avengers turn into dust and fade away, that was the inspiration I wanted to go for. And using AI, I was able to recreate this in just a few minutes. The AI tool I used to create this effect is Kling AI, which is a super powerful AI video generator that's especially good at creating these cinematic looking visual effects while also preserving the realism in the videos. The key thing will be using the right choice of words in the prompt. You need to use specific words to describe exactly how the visual effect is happening. The woman slowly disintegrates into dust. The dust crumbles and blows away with the wind. It's important that you describe the events in the order that they happen in. First she should transform into dust and then the dust fades away. The cool thing about this AI tool is that it also adds in sound effects that go along with the visuals. This was an absolutely incredible looking shot. So let's say I start with this shot of a woman holding a candle. It's kind of a peaceful relaxed scene but I want to add in a little bit of creativity. Let's see if I can make the candle flame turn into this huge flame that covers the entire screen and have her hold the fire in her hands. So the first thing we'll do is log into Kling and navigate to the AI video generation tab. Inside there, underneath the image to video tab, I'll need to drop in a frame that I want to turn into a video and have the AI visual text added into. So I'll drop in a frame with the woman holding the candle. And once that's uploaded in there, I'll need to go into the prompt bar to describe the visual effect. When writing the prompt, you need to specifically label the element you want to change. In this case, it would be the flame. And also describe the effect that should happen and how it interacts with the other elements inside of the scene. So in this prompt, I first describe what's going on in the scene. The woman holds a candle. And then the visual effect that happens. It grows into a huge bright flame that covers the woman's hands. And then the woman holds the huge bright flame in her palms with an expression of awe. Notice how I specifically describe the interaction between the woman and the flame from the candle. Then at the end I also added this keyword muted colors. That's just because in my original image I had these darker colors and I want to preserve that inside the video. Let's go ahead and generate this and see what it comes up with. AI video is incredibly impressive when it comes to creating effects using fire. The flame expands and consumes a candle and it ends with her holding a huge fire in both of her palms. Kind of a supernatural shot. Kling is also great at more explosive effects. Here's an example of the robot short circuiting. Not only does it add in all the sparks and electricity, the sound effects that are also added in go really well together with the VFX for an explosive shot. I kind of feel bad for this guy. Now the AI sound effects is kind of a newer feature so it doesn't work perfectly in every situation but this was one of the cases where it turned out really really well. AI is also great for environmental VFX, for example water. Here I made a scene of a tsunami flooding over a Buddhist temple. The effect looks really really cool but what's even better is once the tsunami fades and washes away you can see that the temple buildings are all kind of still in the same exact spot that it started in. So you have that consistency in the environment. One key element of adding in visual effects is the speed that things happen in. So a lot of the newer AI models tend to adding a ton of motion and movement very very quickly. In this shot I had the store flooding with water and the woman makes these super jerky fast movements that don't look very realistic. It looks like she's kind of swinging her arms around going up and down in the water and it's not a very good shot. Sometimes you need to slow things down inside the prompts. So if we add in the keyword slow to multiple parts of the prompt it should create a much smoother movement for us. So I told the store to fill up with water and flood. The woman slowly tries to escape as she slowly sinks into the water, subtle motion, muted colors. And if we create the visual effect using this prompt, it's going to give us a much smoother movement.
Here's a shot of a bridge collapsing during an earthquake. Now the overall shot looks pretty good to me, but when you create these really really big motions of the buildings falling up and down, it's hard for the AI to keep the little details consistent. So if you look at like the individual bricks or the individual rocks or leaves, there's gonna be some blurring. So the tiles and panels on the building are gonna deform and stretch out a little bit. So if you want the details to be preserved super closely, I'd recommend going with smaller, more subtle movements. You also want to introduce camera motions to make the most out of your visual effects. So for example, in this case, I have this image of a cat. And let's see if we can make him grow really, really big and tower over the buildings like a giant. So I'll try a prompt like the cat grows extremely large very quickly and becomes taller than the old building next to it. The problem you'll notice is that while the cat does grow really really quickly and become very tall, it kind of cuts off the upper body of the cat. The cat quickly outgrows the field of view that we have, and we can only see the lower part of its body. So we'll need to change our prompt a little bit. This time I'll add in the keyword, the camera tilts up. And this should track the body of the cat as it expands, so that we can see it through the entire video. And this time in the video, the camera does a much better job of keeping track of the cat as it grows. It's always a good idea to play around with different camera movements, especially the visual effect moves around a lot. For example, this robot levitating into the air, we need the camera to tilt up and follow it as it flies upwards. So we've made some really amazing looking visual effects, but something else that you can also do in Kling is actually adding your own characters into the videos. For example, I've got this shot in the forest of a woman and a man exploring. And what I can actually do is swap out the character of the man for the shot of a robot. And the only thing I need to do this is a single image of the robot by itself. This is a great way to do some basic motion capture where you can have a video with someone who's an actor, but then use the AI to replace their movements with another character. So to do this, we'll go to the Moti Elements tab next to image to video. Then inside there, we'll need to upload a video with our characters that we want to swap out. So I've got the video of the two characters inside of Forest. Now, what we'll need to do is actually select the specific character that I'm swapping out. In this case, it's going to be the guy. What we'll need to do is just click on the character by himself. Now, sometimes you need to click a few times to select the entire body. Let's also get the backpack, so that's also swapped out. We can also preview the full selected character through the entire video. It might be a good idea to do this just to confirm that the AI actually detects your character throughout the entire video. Once that's done, we can confirm it. And we'll need an upload an image of the character to swap with the man. So I'll drag in this image of a robot that I want to put in there. Let's upload that. Inside the prompt bar, it's got this little template for us. So it says swap X from the image for X from the video. Inside these brackets, we just need to put in the element or the character that we're switching. So swap the robot from the image of the robot for the man from the video. And that's all we got to do. Now, once we generate the video, it should have swapped the male character for this robot exactly. This is one of the coolest things you can do using AI. Notice how the robot copies the man's movements and actions exactly. We've basically done motion capture on the man and replaced him exactly using our robot character. You can add in tons of different character types. Here I changed the character to an orc from Warcraft. Besides using the motion capture effect, we can directly just drop in a character into an existing video. This is another great way to introduce your own characters into the videos that otherwise would take a ton of time and effort to animate. So inside multi-elements, if we go to this add button right here, we can directly adding additional characters into the original video itself without swapping anyone out. And this time I'll actually go with the video of the woman holding the candle with the flames in her hand that we created earlier. Now I've got this picture of the robot just like before. 
in inside the prompt, it'll have this template for you. Using the context of the video, seamlessly add, let's replace the X in the brackets with the robot from the image. And if we use this visual effect, it'll basically keep the original video the same, except it's also adding our own character into there. Now you will need to be a little more specific about how the new character is added in. In this case, the AI wasn't very smart and put the robot in front of the woman. That's not really what I wanted since the main feature of this shot is the woman with the flames in her hand. So if I run the same exact prompt again, except this time I say the robot is behind the woman. Now when we go ahead and generate the video, it should put the woman in front so that she's a focus of the shot. This is much closer to what I originally envisioned. I did try mixing different visual styles, so I tried adding in these 2D anime characters into my videos. Although it looks like when I tried adding a 2D character, it actually turned them into a 3D style. Okay, so now when you go and try this out for yourself, you will run into this issue, which is that the AI isn't smart enough to always make the colors match up. So if I have this very bright photo of the character, and I try to add this character into a video that's dimmer with darker, more cinematic colors, which is the theme I like. When we add that character in, the AI will actually just adding a very bright, saturated looking character which doesn't actually match the visual aesthetic of the rest of the video. The bright orange and blue kind of looks out of place here. So before adding characters, make sure that the photo of the character you're using has a similar color palette to the video that you're trying to add them into. So what I'll have to do is actually take this super bright saturated color of my character with the orange, upload them into an image editor. I'm showing PhotoP here since it's free to use when we can reduce how bright and saturated these colors are. So if we go to image, adjustments, find the hue and saturation. Now let's move this here. And if we reduce the saturation of the photo, see how the colors get a bit more dimmer and muted, which matches the videos that I'm creating. Now, if we use this photo of the character and add her into the video using AI, we get a much more consistent looking visual style for the character and the video itself. This is a pretty common issue that I ran into and I'm sure you'll run into when you try this. So make sure that your character images have a similar color palette as the video you're adding them to. Aside from just characters, we can add in all sorts of different elements using this visual effects tool. I'll show a couple examples where I added a logo in, uh, with my name on it as a graffiti art piece. You can also add in images of clothing, fashion, things like that. So these visual effects are created using AI, but the image frames that I added the visual effects to were also generated using AI. You might be curious about how I created these images. The key visual elements I wanted inside these photos is first for them to have this retro visual style about them, where it looks like an old school film. And I also wanted the location to be set in Japan. The AI tool I used to create all these photos was Midjourney. And when writing the prompts to create these images, the main things that I considered were the camera angle that we're looking at the shot from, the subjects and characters in the scene, and also the visual style. So for example, I can go with a prompt like front view photo of a woman next to a man in a forest taken in Japan. The front view will be the camera angle that we're looking at. And the woman next to a man in a forest in Japan is the subjects and location that the scene is in. Now for the visual style, I went with a uh, movie scene shot on Agfa Vista camera. The Agfa Vista camera is what's gonna give us a retro old school type of feeling. And below here are what some of the results look like. If you wanna learn how to write the absolute best prompts inside Clean to take your AI visual effects to the next level, go watch this guide right here where I break down the specifics of how to direct your AI camera to capture the exact scene that you want.